So a big part of the struggle that we actually have when trying to reach our health and body transformation goals is our inability to actually maintain ourselves as a priority. Now, of course, in an ideal world, we just go, well, I'm the number, I'm the number one priority. My health is important, so therefore I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to do what I need to do. But the catch is when we try to implement health and try to support ourselves and prioritize ourselves amongst all of the other things that we have going on in life, especially those things that we perceive as being urgent and that need to be taken care of right now, it's very difficult to actually maintain us at that high standard. It would be nice, but it is a struggle. So as a result, what we often end up doing, unfortunately, is not focusing on ourselves at all. And we end up sacrificing ourselves to all of these other priorities and things that are going on for us. And of course, over time, our health takes a hit. We end up developing metabolic conditions such as high blood pressure, um, high cholesterol, diabetes, and things like that. Or if we're lucky, we don't get that far and we just end up overweight, tired, worn out, maybe a bit achy and so on. And of course, you don't want any of those realities, but it's where many of us actually find ourselves. So one of the things that we need to do, of course, is find a way to prioritize ourselves. So like how can I make me a priority amongst all this other stuff I have to do? Now, what we have to do is have a mindset shift. And of course, mindset shifts sometimes take time. Or what happens is the mindset shift happens very quickly. But unfortunately, our ability to act in alignment with that new mindset or new belief sometimes takes a while for us to get in the groove of. But what we need to do is look at, okay, I have all these other areas of life I'm trying to manage and that are currently a greater priority than myself and my health. How will me now working on my health actually enhance or make those other things even better? So for example, many of us sacrifice our body for our business and the game of making money. Now, what we need to do is establish in our mind and in our heart, well, how will me showing up for myself and improving the state of my body and my, my level of health, how will that help me to accelerate my business? How will that help me increase my profits? How will it help me be a better leader if I have staff? How will it help me be a better um, provider of the service or product that I'm delivering to the customer? We need to look at all of the potential benefits that we will gain as a result of working on our health. Because unfortunately, in the moment, we tend to focus on the negatives. Oh, I have to give up this, and I have to give up that, and it's going to cost time, and it's going to cost money. And we find all of the, the perceived negatives that will give us the great excuses we're looking for to stop, rather than looking for all of the excuses and reasons for us to actually continue. So that's in business. And then in, we also want to look at our relationships. So it's a case of, well, in my relationships, whether we're talking family, friends, partner, children, doesn't matter who, we need to look at how is me taking care of myself going to enhance those relationships. So with your partner, does that mean you're going to be able to, to be more connected and more intimate with her? Maybe you'll have more confidence when you show up intimately and when it comes to time for sex and so on. Will you be able to play and have more fun with your kids? Will you be able to be more active? Will you be able to partake in more hobbies and things with your friends and so on? Because what often happens, unfortunately, when we do let our health slide and our body slide, we tend to start removing ourselves from a lot of the things that we would have done previously or that we would like to do but don't feel that uh, they are now applicable to us because of the state of our health and the state of our body. So as I say, we need to look at well, where will me working on myself help enhance these other areas of life? And then finally, we also need to look at it from the perspective of being. Being is looking at our certainty and our sense of purpose. So how will you working on your body and improving your health, transforming your body, losing the excess weight, and getting out of pain, how will all of that help increase your certainty and your ability to pursue what you perceive as your purpose or your calling or your goal or dream in life? Because the catch is quite often, we have big goals, dreams. Some of us even have this sense of a purpose, a, a mission that I'm here to complete, but we don't believe that we're capable of it because of the body we've allowed ourselves to get stuck in. The body ultimately becomes this physical, mental, and emotional prison that keeps us stuck and locked in place when we know we should be moving forward and doing more and actually pursuing this dream or this, this purpose, but we don't feel we have the power to do so, nor the vessel required to do so, so we just end up stuck.
And we perpetually find ourselves in this loop of, yeah, I want to try, I want to do this, I want to do that. But then we never truly get around to it because we just won't take those steps required to actually work on ourselves and transform our body in the way that we need to do so. So that's my video for you guys tonight. As I say, where in your life can you level up so that you can actually work on your health, look at which areas of your life are going to be enhanced as a result of your health. So how will it improve your business? How will it improve your relationships? And how will it improve your being, your sense of confidence and your, your purpose in life? How will it enable you to move forward more powerfully rather than just take away from you from all of these sacrifices that you perceive it's going to require? Thanks for watching people. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you wanna learn more about what we do, you can check us out at strongerthanlife.com. And of course, if not, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video, people. Take it easy.